Good evening, and welcome to Moments with Mary on this Memorial Day, Monday, May 31st, 2021. Thank you for joining me today, for I know you have family, friends, and other folks to entertain. As we move through today, let us not forget to continue to thank all frontline workers and healthcare providers for taking care of us during these unprecedented times. Today, I will spotlight my daddy, Mr. Walter R. Smith, Jr. I share a few poems written by yours truly about my daddy and will also share a briefing of Memorial Day. My daddy, Mr. Walter R. Smith, Jr., was born June 2nd, 1926, in McGee, Mississippi, Simpson County, to Walter R. Smith, Sr., and Levada Fiesel Smith. He was the youngest child of nine siblings and attended the elementary and high school in McGee, Mississippi and Taylorsville, Mississippi. He served in the United States Navy for four years and then became a successful farmer. He married my mama, Mrs. Irene Smith McGee, and they were the proud parents of nine children. Daddy always said he wanted nine children because he was, because he had nine siblings. And he was very successful at that. Um, he was very proud to have served in the United States Navy and often shared his excitement with family and friends. He was also proud to tell us that he had three boys to follow his lead. That's my daddy, Walter R. Smith, Jr., and a bit about Memorial Day. Memorial Day is an American holiday observed on the last Monday of May, honoring the men and women who died while serving in the United States military. It was originally known as Decoration Day. It originated in the years following the Civil War and became an official federal holiday in 1971. Many Americans observed Memorial Day by visiting cemeteries or memorials, holding family gatherings, and participating in parades. Unofficially, it marks the beginning of the summer season. And that's a bit about Memorial Day. I'll also share two poems about in reference to my daddy. And the first one is entitled, My Daddy. My daddy was a man of substance who entertained no nonsense. He did not converse about worthless opinions. He talked about world and national tensions. When he spoke, people listened because he spoke with authority and shared knowledge of notoriety. A person's of note in society. He watched the evening news 
and screened it with all ears because when he shared his views, he wanted to, it to be objective news. He paid attention to the stock market every day at noon because he had cattle to sell. But when he shared, the information had to be reliable. My daddy was a man of substance. And the second one is entitled, My Dad. My dad was a real man, a man with a plan. He told my mama he wanted a family of nine, and he did over time. Five boys and four girls, we were his joys. He provided for us, though through many trials and trust. He kept us close and protected us from most and tried to make sure we were pure, honest, patient, and secure. He never said an unpleasant word to be heard by the listening herd. His punishment was a given eye. When he gave it, you would say bye and move on to another chore out of the door. A quiet and gentle man, my dad, a man with a plan, a real man. I want today again, thank you for listening and watching. I see my sister Dorothy watching me. Continue to stay safe. Again, happy Memorial Day. Some gave all. And while you're relaxing today and some other time when you have a few minutes, or an hour, read the Tulsa Massary of 1921. I love you and we'll see you next week. Goodbye and continue to enjoy your day. Thank you again. Bye-bye.